It's time for first alert weather with meteorologist Aaron Moran. Aaron, let's talk about our first alert forecast. Obviously, we saw some rain today, but that's not the case tomorrow. A little bit of rain, maybe for some in the morning, but let's just focus in on the rain that we saw today. The 48 day dry streak comes to an end. We picked up just under a quarter of an inch of rain at DFW Airport. This is the first measurable rain that we have had at the airport since July 16th. Now, this is tied for the eighth longest stretch without measurable rainfall at the airport. You look at uh, number one on this list, man, I would not have wanted to live here then 84 days without rain from July to September of 2000 and then all the way down tied at 48 days September 20th to November 6th of 1924 and then uh, July 17th to September 2nd of 2023 so we're in the record books yet again uh, quite a few records that we broke in uh, this summer uh, this past summer because officially now we are in meteorological fall but look at the rainfall that we've seen over the last 24 hours uh, across the area. This is radar estimated rainfall, but certainly seeing some impressive amounts along I-30 near Greenville, just to the south of Roy City. To the north of Wills Point, maybe picking up three and a half, nearly three and a half inches of rain, and that was really just over a couple of hours' time. Uh, looking into Ellis County, we showed you that video from our storm chaser Mike earlier of the downburst winds in Midlothian, and you can see that radar estimating picking up maybe uh, more than an inch and a half of rain just to the east of Midlothian, but certainly kind of along that 287 path between Midlothian and Waxahachie, and then we saw maybe two, uh, a little bit more than two inches of rain just to the north of North Richland Hills between North Richland Hills and Keller. So some much needed rainfall across the area. We still have some showers going on right now, even in Dallas County and Collin County uh, into Rockwall County as well. A little bit of lightning just to the south of Roy City and a couple of spots where we have some heavier rain ongoing. And then showing you into Bosque County and Hamilton County because this is actually a place that's seen a decent bit of rain this afternoon and into this evening. And it's just not stopping right now. Cranfield's Gap to Hamilton to Turnersville, Valley Mill. I would say this is headed towards you. Clifton likely going to see a little bit more as well because it's generally moving to the east southeast. Now, looking at tomorrow's forecast, Nicole mentioned, are we going to see any rain? I've got isolated shower chances through the morning. I think we've got temperatures that start in the mid and upper 70s. Once we get towards midday at that point, I think most of us are done with the rain and we start to see more sunshine popping out. I have a high of 100 degrees. It's likely going to be in that 3 to 4 p.m. time frame. So you see 97 at 2 o'clock, 99 by 5 o'clock. And that's not even nearly as high as we're going to go. We're talking about records potentially as we go into the work week. Hopefully most of you get to enjoy the day off tomorrow, but look at by Wednesday. Forecast high of 102. The record high is 104. Thursday, my forecast high calls for tying the record. And then Friday, we've got sunny skies. We've got a south southwest wind. I am forecasting a high of 105. That would smash the record set back in 1998 of 100. Into the weekend, still have some triple digits forecast. We're already looking ahead to next weekend. Most of you are hopefully still enjoying a long weekend into tomorrow. But 101 next Saturday, 99 next Sunday. But Nicole, at least you notice, put that 20% chance for rain in there. Now you mentioned that it's fall, but that looks like a lot of pool days ahead.